CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 8 Decimals Page 177 Part 4 8.6 Addition of Numbers with Decimals Do this Add 0 0.35 and 0 0.42 Take a square and divide it into 100 equal parts. Page 178 Mark 0 0.35 in this square by shading 3 tenths and colouring 5 hundredths. Mark 0 0.42 in this square by shading 4 tenths and colouring 2 hundredths. Now, count the total number of tenths in the square and the total number of hundredths in the square. We have a table. Three columns, ones, tenths, hundreds. Zero, three, five, zero, four, two. Adding these numbers will give us zero, seven, seven. Therefore, zero point three five plus zero point four two is equal to zero point seven seven. Thus, we can add decimals in the same way as whole numbers. Try these. Find one. 0 0.29 plus 0 0.36 2 0 0.7 plus 0 0.08 3 1.54 plus 1.80 4 2.66 plus 1.85 Can you now add 0 0.68 and 0 0.54? We have a table with three columns, ones, tenths, hundredths. 0, 6, 8, 0, 5, 4. On adding these, we get 1, 2, 2. Thus, 0 0.68 plus 0 0.54 is equal to 1.22. Example 12. Lata spent 9.50 rupees for buying a pen and 2.50 rupees for one pencil. How much money did she spend? Solution. Money spent for pen is equal to 9.50 rupees. Money spent for pencil is equal to 2.50 rupees. Total money spent is equal to 9.50 rupees plus 2.50 rupees. Total money spent is equal to 12 rupees. Example 13. Samson travelled 5 km 52 meters by bus, 2 km 265 meters by car, and the rest 1 km 30 meters he walked. How much distance did he travel in all? Solution. Distance travelled by bus is equal to 5 km 52 meters, equal to 5.052 km. Distance travelled by car is equal to 2 km 265 meters, equal to 2.265 km. Distance travelled on foot is equal to 1 km 30 meters, equal to 1.030 km Page 179 Therefore, total distance travelled is 5.052 km plus 2.265 km plus 1.030 km The answer is 8.347 km Therefore, total distance travelled is equal to 8.347 km Example 14 Rahul bought 4 kg 90 grams of apples, 2 kg 60 grams of grapes, and 5 kg 300 grams of mangoes. Find the total weight of all the fruits he bought. Solution Weight of apples is equal to 4 kg 90 grams, equal to 4.090 kg. Weight of grapes is equal to 2 kg 60 grams equal to 2.060 kilograms. Weight of mangoes is equal to 5 kilogram 300 grams, equal to 5.300 kilograms. Therefore, the total weight of the fruits bought is 4.090 kilograms plus 2.060 kilograms plus 5.300 kilograms. The answer is 11.450 kilograms. Total weight of the fruits bought is equal to 11.450 kilograms. 
Exercise 8.5 1. Find the sum in each of the following. A. 0 0.007 plus 8.5 plus 30.08 B. 15 plus 0 0.632 plus 13.8 C. 27.076 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.004 D. 25.65 plus 9.005 plus 3.7 E. 0 0.75 plus 10.425 plus 2 F. 280.69 plus 25.2 plus 38 2. Rashid spent 35.75 rupees for maths book and 32.60 rupees for science book. Find the total amount spent by Rashid. 3. Radhika's mother gave her 10.50 rupees and her father gave her 15.80 rupees. Find the total amount given to Radhika by the parents. 4. Nasreen bought 3 meter 20 centimeters cloth for her shirt and 2 meter 5 centimeter cloth for her trouser. Find the total length of cloth bought by her. 5. Naresh walked 2 km 35 meters in the morning and 1 km 7 meters in the evening. How much distance did he walk in all? Page 180. 6. Sunita travelled 15 km 268 meters by bus, 7 km 7 meters by car, and 500 meters on foot in order to reach her school. How far is her school from her residence? 7. Ravi purchased 5 kg 400 grams rice, 2 kg 20 grams sugar and 10 kg 850 grams flour. Find the total weight of his purchases. 8.7. Subtraction of decimals. Do this. Subtract 1.32 from 2.58. This can be shown by the table. We have the table with three columns, ones, tenths, hundreds. The numbers are 258 minus 132. The answer is 126. Thus, 2.58 minus 1.32 is equal to 1.26. Therefore, we can say that subtraction of decimals can be done by subtracting hundreds from hundreds, tenths from tenths, ones from ones and so on, just as we did in addition. Sometimes while subtracting decimals, we may need to regroup, like we did in addition. Let us subtract 1.74 from 3.5. We have the table, ones, tenths, hundreds. 3, 5, 0, minus 174. The answer, 1, 7, 6. Subtract in the hundredth place. Can't subtract, so regroup. 3.50 minus 1.74. The answer, 1.76. Thus, 3.5 minus 1.74 is equal to 1.76. Try these. 1. Subtract 1.85 from 5.46. 2. Subtract 5.25 from 8.28. 3. Subtract 0 0.95 from 2.29. 4. Subtract 2.25 from 5.68. Page 181. Example 15. Abhishek had 7.45 rupees. He bought toffees for 5.30 rupees. Find the balance amount left with Abhishek. Solution. Total amount of money is equal to 7.45 rupees. Amount spent on toffees is equal to 5.30 rupees. Balance amount of money is equal to 7.45 rupees minus 5.30 rupees is equal to 2.15 rupees. Example 16. Urmila's school is at a distance of 5 km 350 meters from her house. She travels 1 km 70 meters on foot and the rest by bus. 
How much distance does she travel by bus? Solution Total distance of school from the house is equal to 5.350 kilometers. Distance travelled on foot is equal to 1.070 km. Therefore, distance travelled by bus is equal to 5.350 km minus 1.070 km equal to 4.280 km. Thus, distance travelled by bus is equal to 4.280 km or 4 km 280 m. Example 17. Kanchan bought a watermelon weighing 5 kg 200 grams. Out of this, she gave 2 kg 750 grams to her neighbor. What is the weight of the watermelon left with Kanchan? Solution. Total weight of the watermelon is equal to 5.200 kg. Watermelon given to the neighbor is equal to 2.750 kg. Therefore, weight of the remaining watermelon is equal to 5.200 kg minus 2.750 kg equal to 2.450 kg. Exercise 8.6 1. Subtract A. 18.25 rupees from 20.75 rupees B. 202.54 meters from 250 meters C. 5.36 rupees from 8.40 rupees. D. 2.051 kilometers from 5.206 kilometers. E. 0.314 kilogram from 2.107 kilograms. 2. Find the value of A. 9.756 minus 6.28. B. 21.05 minus 15.27 C. 18.5 minus 6.79 D. 11.6 minus 9.847 Page 182 3. Raju bought a book for 35.65 rupees. He gave 50 rupees to the shopkeeper. How much money did he get back from the shopkeeper? 4. Rani had 18.50 rupees. She bought one ice cream for 11.75 rupees. How much money does she have now? 5. Tina had 20 meter 5 centimeter long cloth. She cuts 4 meter 50 centimeters length of cloth from this for making a curtain. How much cloth is left with her? 6. Namita travels 20 kilometer 50 meters every day. Out of this, she travels 10 km 200 meters by bus and the rest by auto. How much distance does she travel by auto? 7. Akash bought vegetables weighing 10 kg. Out of this, 3 kg 500 g is onions, 2 kg 75 g is tomatoes and the rest is potatoes. What is the weight of the potatoes? What have we discussed? 1. To understand the parts of one whole, that is, a unit, we represent a unit by a block. One block divided into ten equal parts means each part is one upon ten, one-tenth of a unit. It can be written as 0 0.1 in decimal notation. The dot represents the decimal point and it comes between the unit's place and the tenth's place. 2. Every fraction with denominator 10 can be written in decimal notation and vice versa. 3. One block divided into 100 equal parts means each part is 1 upon 100, one hundredth of a unit. It can be written as 0 0.01 in decimal notation. 4. Every fraction with denominator 100 can be written in decimal notation and vice versa. 5. In the place value table, as we go from left to the right, the multiplying factor becomes 1 upon 10 of the previous factor. Page 183. The place value table can be further extended from hundredths to one tenth of hundredths. 
that is, thousands, one upon thousand, which is written as 0 0.001 in decimal notation. 6. All decimals can also be represented on a number line. 7. Every decimal can be written as a fraction. 8. Any two decimal numbers can be compared among themselves. The comparison can start with the whole part. If the whole parts are equal, then the tenth parts can be compared, and so on. 9. Decimals are used in many ways in our lives. For example, in representing units of money, length and weight. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.